good day everyone and welcome to this second video now what we're gonna do in this video is to install and set up our system to start building android and ios apps what we're gonna do to start that is to visit nodejs.org so when you get to the site it is the site for nodejs so you scroll down you will see two versions of nodejs that you can download um, in this version you can always download the lower version as you can see is the recommended but then uh, if you're if you're adventurous you can download the 8.6 version that is the current version with the latest features i usually go for the lower version because most of the applications out there work perfectly well with the lower version all right so you click on it it downloads uh, as a normal software i've already downloaded it before so i'm not going to download it as you can see it's downloading right here on the left of my screen i already have it set up in my system so i'm not downloading if you look well you see that it's only 12 mb all right and once you download it you click on it and it will install on your system just install it and um, you never have to worry about it because you never have to actually start it again so once this download is done you want to quickly go and install ionic and cordova these two will help us to start building mobile apps instantly so to do that we can install it the same time we we'll just go to ionicframework.com Ionic, Ionic Framework.com. Ionic is a framework like just say it as Bootstrap if you have been designing websites. Ionic looks like Bootstrap, you understand? But then it needs a backend, uh, so it uses Angular JS as a backend. And then for the to save your data and everything, uh, do your notifications, upload your images. We'll be needing another second layer of backend called Firebase. Firebase is a backend as a service owned by Google. All right. So this is the Ionic uh, page. We are basically going to um, click on Get Started. So the story I'm going to teach now will work for several different versions of Ionic. If you're taking Ionic 2, Ionic 3, or Ionic 4, it will work perfectly for you. All right, so um, after clicking on Getting Started, this is the link to, uh, this is the command we will use to install Cordova and Ionic as you can see and this G means we are installing it globally to do that we have to start up a node server if you install node.js just click on your start menu on your windows then type node and uh, node.js command prompt will pull up uh, don't use this you should just use this so when you click on it you can then copy what we have here and uh, right click and hit enter this would download the latest versions of cordova and ionic and install it in your system as you can see the node.js version i'm using is 7.9.0 all right so um that's it once you install it and it's done you need to navigate to a certain folder where you want to create your ionic application because we're about to create our first app, app application all right so it this will work anywhere in your system for me i have a special folder where i create mine for you you might just if this is your first time of creating an application you might want to create it on your desktop all right for me i have a special folder to do that to go to that folder i'll, I'll type cd you must type cd then you type c um if you know where the folder is it won't be difficult for me uh, for you for me i know where mine is mine is in at one six four slash www but if you don't know uh, um where this is mine as you can see it has changed folder this is this means change directory to this so we are now here so but if you don't know uh, the correct address to yours you basically want to um, open the folder like this then click here and copy the URL or the the address of it once you copy the address you can now come to your screen and say CD right click you right click on the screen to paste so CD right click then you hit enter you understand so right now I am in mine you can just find yours and I'm going to start uh, creating uh, our Ionic application as you can see on the Ionic page this is the command to create an, a new Ionic application so I'll just do Ionic start then uh, we're gonna uh, give it a name so the name I'm gonna give our new app is um, what are we gonna call it let me call it Ionic Upload. Upload, yeah. 
so you can call yours anything then uh, this is the template as you can see there are several templates that Ionic can come with so the first one if you use blank it will come with a blank template if you use tabs it will come with a template that has three buttons at the bottom so your phone screen will look like this have a top bar have three buttons at the bottom if you use side menu it will come with these three buttons at the bottom but then it will come with a side menu too all right so um i think we should just try side menu but i might I, I should warn you at this point that some of these are buggy you understand so if there are some of them that you will use and your application will just show up with a bug that you don't know you wouldn't know how to resolve so uh, for a starter you might want to just try the maximum you should try is tabs or just a blank page for me i'm just gonna uh, go ahead with side menu so you should uh, go ahead with side menu but if after setting up your application and you see errors it's probably because you chose one now if you don't add any of this if you don't use this fourth command it will install blank for you by default all right so let's go ahead and um, also i want to mention that uh, even if uh, no matter the one you use no matter the one you you select you can always build it to uh, work with any other one all right so um We'll go back to our command prompt and um, side menu hit enter make sure you have uh, your internet connection if your internet connection is low this will take five to ten minutes if it's fast it could take like less than one minute 30 seconds to one minute for me my internet connection is moderate it usually takes me for uh, uh, about two minutes all right so i already have ionic installed so this is just asking me to um, upgrade to the latest ionic which i don't want to upgrade i don't like to use the latest uh, version of anything because sometimes uh, it results in errors all right so i'll click i'll type n which is no yours might not ask you this question because obviously you will be using the latest version when you're installing and setting up this i'll hit n and hit enter They're asking me would you like to integrate your new app with cordova to target native ios and android yes of course i want to do that uh we're building an app for ios and android hit enter that is yes and then uh, basically answer all the questions that it's going to ask you at the end of the day you have your basic ionic application set up and we'll see my for now i will pause this video and continue in the next video where this application is set up and we'll peruse it thank you see you in the next video